Hey everybody, Frugal Farmer here. I have been on a tool restoration rampage. <laughs> I had all these Noah's boxes, like these were froze up, and now they're back. And they're working good, and there was various amounts of rust on it. Each one's these are my old wire cutters. They're moving. I worked with these in a plant. I had them, and a guy next to me borrowed them. I thought for a day. I didn't mind that. Went up. He kept them for almost a year. Finally, I went over there one day. I said, "Hey, dude. I said, when are you gonna get your own wire cutters?" He said, oh, "I'm gonna get some eventually." I said, "Okay." So that afternoon, I walked over there, got my wire cutters, put them back in my box. And that next morning, he came over there. He said, "Hey, man." He said, "Can I borrow those wire cutters?" I said, "Eventually." <laughs> And uh, I don't know why, it, that's just how he was. He, he's halfway decent fella, but uh, I just, I'm not big into barring. That's why I got so many little odds and end tools I've only used once. But I've got some good news. And uh, this knocks out links on a chain link. I kind of wondered because those look like on a chain link, but it's moving. And I don't know how else you operate it, but I'll never use this thing. So I'm going to put it up on my wall of tools. And uh, that's where it'll sit the remainder of its days until I pass away. And then before the uh, coroner comes to get me, it'll be auctioned off by my youngins, I'm sure. And uh, But anyway, this is only a small portion of the tools I've been working on. And um, let me explain to you this process that I'm doing. Well, what I do is I take, and uh, I had to get to a bigger jug. I let the tools soak. And um, let me show you this old one. It's a neat one. Okay. This is conjecture on my part, so if I'm wrong, it won't be the first time. This is one of the early adjustable wrenches. Well, they used to, when you bought a car, you got a little tool kit with it. And from what I understand, this was part of that tool kit. But this thing's been on the farm ever since I can remember. But it was froze up. And um, so I, I've had it uh, sitting in vinegar. And when I get it out of the vinegar, now I'll let it sit for a couple, three days. More than that, I'll sp spray it with a penetrating oil. Now the viscosity on this is a little bit thinner than WD-40. So I'll spray it with this and let it sit overnight. And then if I have to, I'll put it back in the vinegar. Well, the vinegar will clean this off and then it'll go to work on it again. But I've probably salvaged $200 worth of tools. I've got some small like these and I use these in my jewelry making. Not those in particular, but I can. I've got some other ones, but those will be used in my jewelry making. And, uh, but I had driver bit head. These were rusty. And I don't know what the deal was, why these things rusted up, but I let those suck in the vinegar. And then I sp sprayed them and wiped them down good with penetrating oil. And um, I seem to be finished with them. So they'll go into my miscellaneous driver heads. I've got a set of driver heads, but you never can have too many to replace ones you lose. And this ratchet right here. It, uh, it's working now. And, um, I had, um, soaked it in the vinegar for like seven days. And there's a little bit I can turn it the other way and soak it and get that off. But I'd soaked it in the vinegar and then sp sprayed it with a penetrating oil. And this thing's back. Everything's working, clicking just like it's supposed to. And, um, it should do, you know, it's spinning free right there. But, folks, this is how you, you do it. And even socket heads, um, they were rusted up. And uh, that knife, I can't get the blade out. I've soaked it. It was rusted, too. So I think that's going to go the way of the trash. But, see, I'd have thrown away this other stuff if I hadn't run across this uh, method for doing this. But I'd... I'd venture to say I've got $200 worth of tools that I salvaged. So here's what you do. 
take white vinegar, use the vinegar straight. Depend on the amount of rust, you put them in there, um, you know, at least two or three days, you know, more if you have to. Take them out, if you still got caked up rust. Now we had a lot of caked up rust on this and I did lightly wire brush it by hand. I didn't put it on a grinder or anything, but I did light, lightly wire brush it. Lightly wire brushed it, sprayed it with the penetrating oil. Let it set overnight like that so it could work its magic. Then I put it back in the vinegar. And um, I figure with the penetrating oil in the vinegar, it's, it's getting everything loose and removing the rust. But it kind of separates. There's different weights on that, so it's kind of separated in the uh, container. And uh, you just repeat that. And like I said, I'm you know going through getting all my tools where everything's ship shape. And uh, I even had some screwdrivers. I think I put those back up, but they developed kind of like a yellow gunk on the handle and um it, well, it was more white than yellow but look maybe it was the color of the handle made it look yellow but i turned those upside down put those in the vinegar let those that soak a few days pulled it out and then i sprayed it with the penetrating oil and um i got salvaged uh three screwdrivers so it was well worth it to do this and this will not ever be used it's going on my old tool wall i love stuff like this i've got some other stuff too i've accumulated over the years and um but there you have if you want to uh, salvage some old tools that's the way to do it and it's worked well and uh i won't keep doing it i've still got some other stuff there to soak and uh, i've got some wrenches i'll put in there Thanks for stopping by. Come back again when you will. Share, comment, like, hit that subscribe button. God bless.